Central Illinois is the CI in CI Living. It's a taste of Shakespeare with the World Stage Homeschool Theater Company. Joining us on our CI stage, we have director Elizabeth Nickel and actor Matthew Lagardo. Welcome to both of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this performance that's being put on and, and kind of the group that's doing it. Okay, well, this is a homeschool group, mostly teenagers, um, and um, we do one or two plays every year. And it's all about Shakespeare this time. Well, right, this is a Shakespeare play, Much Ado About Nothing. It's a romantic comedy. Um, I could... Yeah, show us yeah. that. Okay, so there yes. are two couples who have romances. One of them is Hero and Claudio. And the other, they start from the very beginning um, in love with each other, they will have complications later. Uh, uh -oh. But the other <laughs> couple starts out at each other's throats. They are always insulting each other, Benedict and Beatrice. And their friends decide that they're going to play a joke on them by making them fall in love with each other. And so, Hero's <laughs> father, Leonato, and the prince, and Claudio stage a discussion in which they talk about how wonderful Beatrice is, how madly in love with Benedict she is, but she would never tell him because he would just give her a hard time. Uh-oh. And he will momentarily present um, Benedict's response to Okay. That. So we're getting a little bit of a taste of the show through the costumes that these people will be wearing. Matthew, I'm assuming this is what you'll be wearing as well. Yes. Awesome. Well, you look great. Now, this is a show that you don't have to have a lot of Shakespeare knowledge to enjoy. Is that correct? We start out with, if you enjoy romantic comedy, um, we should be entertaining you. <laughs> there you go. Some rom-com lovers, this is for you. Oh, my goodness. Well, and this is a great way to introduce our little, um, our young ones to Shakespeare and to give a little taste to, to your audience. So, uh, Matthew, do you want to give us a little taste of, of what you're going to be doing at the show? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Matthew, take it away. This can be no trick. The conference was sadly born. They have the truth of this from Hero. They seem to pity the lady. It seems her affections have their full bent. Love me. Why, it must be requited. I hear how I am censured. They say I will bear myself proudly if I perceive the love come from her. They say too she would rather die than give any sign of affection. I didn't ever think to marry. I must not seem proud. Happy are they who can hear their detractions and put them to mending. They say the ladies fair. Tis the truth, I can bear them witness. And virtuous, tis so, I cannot reprove it. And wise, but for loving me. By my troth, it shall be no addition to her wit, nor no great argument of her folly, for I will be horribly in love with her. I may chance have some odd quirks and remnants of wit broken on me, because I have so long railed against marriage. But doth not the appetite alter? A man loves the meat in his youth, which he cannot endure in his old age. Shall quips and sentences and paper bullets of the brain awe a man from the career of his humor? No, the world must be peopled. When I said I would die a bachelor, I did not think I should live long enough till I were married. Here comes Beatrice now. By this day, she's a fair lady. I do think I spy some marks of love about her. Wonderful. Uh, well Matthew, done. that was great. Okay, we'll bring Elizabeth back in here. So, listening to the language that usually you do find in these types of um, Shakespearean productions, 
How do you teach that? Because that seems like it could be a little complicated. Well, when they know what they're saying, and we edit the script, and so we have pretty straightforward, I mean, we cut out some of the more complicated things, and we should be dramatizing most of it. So it's, this was a monologue, so a lot more of it was just the words. Oh, okay. But usually we're acting things out at the same time. Okay. okay, well, it's taking place. Two performances open to the public on Friday, May 27th, 1 and 7 p.m. Um, at the All Souls Presbyterian Church in Urbana. Free of charge, no need for advanced tickets, and we wish you and the rest of your cast a, a successful production. Yes, so thank you for leg. Thank you. Yeah, for more information, um, be able you should be able to check out our Facebook page after today's show.